Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Gilbert Corsi and I'm Fallon Glick. There are still around 9000 people in Louisville without power tonight. And for those people, the problems continue to grow. Day four in the dark since last Friday storms. WDRB's Katrina Nickel tells us about the challenge that so many are facing tonight. Katrina. Well, you guys, tonight the problem is it's a little bit chillier out here than it has been the past few nights. You know, when I was out here Friday night, Monday night, I was definitely wearing a lighter jacket. I've bundled up. We're across from Jefferson Mall on Judge Boulevard, and dozens are without power tonight because of this massive tree that has been uprooted. Crews were out here today chopping it up. There was sawdust all over the ground because it was pulling down the wires and even bent a utility pole right down the street from here. And so, again, many are without power, which means they are without heat, and they are just trying to get through to tomorrow when the crews will be back out here to finish this work up. As the temperature drops outside. Right now, it's like 62. Thousands of LG&E customers in Jefferson County are growing frustrated and uncomfortable inside their homes. We're like, all right, well, let's go get a heater and just, you know, make it work. Gabby Reedus has been without power since Friday's storms. We're set and ready to go. And has spent the last few days running around. We got the heater, but then like the kerosene for the heater, it was all out at one location, so we had to go to other locations so we could find some. She's spending money on things she otherwise wouldn't have to buy, all because of this tree. <laughs> that knocked out her power. We got a hotel on Friday night and then the hotel lost power. But a place to sleep isn't the only thing costing Rita's. All the food has gone bad. A hefty purchase has also been added to her wish list to avoid the chaos that has followed Friday's storm. We are more fortunate than some people, but just it being cold and like, you know, not really investing in that generator that we're going to now. But even in the darkness, Rita sees some light from people who have helped her out and the crews across the street working to get power back on. As soon as I uh, pulled in today and I saw them, I was just ecstatic and happy for it. So just waiting for it to get done. <laughs> Like I said, crews will be back out here on Judge Boulevard across from Jefferson Mall tomorrow. And LG&E still says that the majority of its customers should have power back tomorrow by 11 p.m. And tonight at WDRV News at 11, we'll talk about what stage in the restoration process LG&E says they're in right now. Live in Jefferson County with photojournalist uh, Jonathan McEmber, Katrina Nickel, WDRV News. All right.